good morning students in the last video we have read about metals today in this video we will learn about non metals so before starting with non metals children let us read this box did you know a fuel is a material such as wood coal gas or oil that is burnt to produce heat or energy a fossil fuel is a fuel that is made from the remains of plants and animals exposed to heat and pressure under the earth's crust over millions of years coal oil and natural gas are fossil fuels so children what is a fuel a fuel is any material like wood coal gas or oil which is burnt to produce heat or energy and what do you understand by fossil fuel fossil fuel is such type of fuel that is made from the remains of dead plants and animals when it is exposed when these dead plants and animals when it is exposed to heat and pressure under the earth's crust over millions of years then only fossil fuels are formed and the examples of fossil fuels are coal oil and natural gas all these are examples of fossil fuels now let us begin with today's topic which is non metals coal is formed from the remains of plants that died millions of years ago coal is classified as non renewable so energy source because it takes millions of years to form it is an important fuel and provides us with energy it is used to generate electricity to run factories and also as a domestic fuel india has large reserves of coal the main coal mines are in jharkhand madhya pradesh chatisgarh west bengal so children first of all what are non metals so things that are not shiny and are not hard like the metals they are known as non metals and what were the examples of non metals the examples are salt coal petroleum limestone all these are very common examples of non metals now the first non metal about which we are studying is coal so coal is also known as koila it is known as koila in hindi and how is coal formed it is formed from the remains of plants that have died millions of years ago so children coal is formed from the dead plants which have died many years ago now coal is a non renewable energy source non renewable energy source means that its quantity is limited it is not available in large quantities and since the coal takes millions of years to form that is why once if it gets finished then it will be very difficult for us to get it back so that is non renewable means it is difficult for us to get it back once it once if it gets over once the stock of coal gets over then it will be very difficult for us to get it back because it takes millions of years to form so that is why it's a non renewable source of energy now children as we all know coal is a very important fuel it provides energy it is used in factories to generate electricity it is also used in the villages to cook food and for heating the houses also now in india children we have large reserves of coal means at many places there are coal so coal mines are located in jharkhand madhya pradesh chatisgarh and west bengal in all these states coal is found now next non metal which we will study is petroleum petroleum is a natural greenish brown thick liquid and is also known as crude oil or mineral oil it is pumped out from the underground through the wells 
this crude oil is refined in the refineries to get different products like petrol diesel kerosene oil gas paraffin wax and many other things so children petroleum is another non metal and it is naturally found means no one has made it it is naturally found in nature and it's a greenish brown thick liquid and it is also known as crude oil or mineral oil so the other name for petroleum is crude oil or mineral oil now children since petroleum is in liquid form that is why it is drilled and pumped out from the underground wells so to take out petroleum we have to drill the earth surface and then we have to pump out from the wells now children petroleum when petroleum is taken out from the wells it is in crude form crude means kacha it is in raw form and later on when it is sent to the refineries or later on when it is refined so we get things like petrol diesel kerosene cooking gas paraffin wax and many other things so children when the petroleum is sent to refinery then we get other things like petrol diesel kerosene etc now it is used for generating power and running cars machines aeroplanes ships etc it is also useful it is so useful that it is called liquid gold mineral oil is found deep inside the earth an area with many oil wells is called an oil field in india petroleum is found mainly in assam gujarat and in bombay high under the sea near mumbai so children petroleum is used for many purposes like for generating power for running our cars machines aeroplanes as well as ships and because it is so useful that is why it is also known as liquid gold now petroleum or mineral oil is found deep inside the earth we have studied just now it is found deep inside the earth and an area with many such oil well is known as an oil field so an area with many such oil field is known as an oil well is known as an oil field and through these oil fields only petroleum is taken out now lastly children in india petroleum is found mostly in assam gujarat and in bombay high now children bombay high is an undersea oil field in mumbai now recently large deposits of petroleum have been found in rajasthan and in the krishna godavari basin in bay of bengal many more areas are being explored in india there are petroleum refineries in mumbai cochin mathura baroni and haldia two new refineries have come up at vadinath and jamnagar in gujarat so children Recently large deposits of petroleum have been also found in Rajasthan and in the Krishna Godavari basin of the Bay of Bengal and other than these two places children many more areas are being explored to find out more reserves of petroleum also children there are petroleum refineries in cities like Mumbai Cochin, Mathura, Baroni, and Haldia. And recently, two new refineries have come up at Vadi, Vadinar, and Jamnagar in Gujarat. And what are oil refineries? Oil refineries are such places where the oil is refined. It is made clean. And after cleaning only, we get other things like petrol, diesel, kerosene, cooking gas, etc. now lastly we'll study about natural gas natural gas is also found along with petroleum in some oil wells it is mainly used as fuel some other non metallic minerals found in india are mica limestone and rock salt so children natural gas is another non metal 
and natural gas is found along with petroleum in some oil wells so in some oil well with petroleum natural gas is found now it is mainly used as fuel so natural gas is mainly used as fuel and lastly some other non metallic minerals which are found in india are mica limestone as well as rock salt now children let us complete this class work name two states for each of the metals mentioned below where the ores of the following metals are found so the names of the metals are given and we have to write down the names of the two states where these metals are found so iron is found in bihar and jharkhand then copper is found in jharkhand and rajasthan then aluminium is found in jharkhand and odisha and manganese is found in karnataka and odisha you all can write down this in your books also and other than these options there are other states also which you can write it's up to you so children today we will learn till here only in the next class we will read about the conservation of minerals so till then children please revise the portion that we have done till now and i will see you in the next video thank you children